Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, May 13th. Oh my God, it is Friday the 13th. So if you're anything like me, very superstitious, you want to be very careful on this day, you want to tread lightly, you don't really want to go anywhere, you want to be very cautious. Yes, I am superstitious. Yes, I believe in that. <sighs> but it's crazy because for Hispanic people, it's actually Tuesday the 13th. And I can't really translate this in English, but it says, uh, Martes um, 13, de tu casa no, no te cases y de tu casa no sales, something to that effect. I'm going to get the right saying, and I'm going to put it in the description bar if I can remember to do that. But yeah, so for Hispanics, it's Tuesday the 13th. Weird why they would say Tuesday the 13th. Friday the 13th seems more scarier to me, but yes, it is. So I'm not planning to go anywhere. I was going to go somewhere. I went even with all this health situation that I have going on, there was a special place that I wanted to go to today, but I think I'm gonna do it either tomorrow or Sunday. Um, so it all worked out because I didn't really realize that it was Friday the 13th. My son told me last night and then I forgot all about it. So I thought, no, nah, maybe I don't wanna do it today. Even though I'm, I would go to a place that you would think would counteract that, which I'm going to a very safe place. I was going to the church. So I thought, no, let's just keep it peaceful. I woke up really super duper tired, I'm very like exhausted from going through so much with my health that I just finally had gotten some sleep. And I think the medic, this different medication that I'm taking is kicking in. So I just wanted to enjoy that restful moments that I was having because I've been having a lot of overwhelming, extreme painful moments. So I was enjoying that those hours that I felt just so peacefully, but tired, but peacefully tired and just restful. And I didn't want to even make a move because it, I have not had any of those in the last month and a half. So anyway, but as you can see, I don't want to go too, too much into storytelling because I always do that. I always say I'm going to do a video and I'm not going to do any storytelling. I'm just going to get right to it and I do it again. So let's get right to it. Anyway, as you can see from the title, this is um, an Amazon haul. And as you know, I do big orders and then things are trickling in um, in different days, sometimes back to back, sometimes a day here and then two days later, another thing or another couple of things. So as I'm getting them, I'm making video clips and then just putting it all together. And I got quite few hauls that still haven't been edited. I still haven't uploaded. So you're probably going to, when I finally get them all done, you're probably going to get so many be like, oh my God, this girl went crazy. As I mentioned in my prior video, I'm always shopping, especially on Amazon. Um, so that's nothing new. That's normal for me. But the last two months, I did more shopping than usual because of the autism awareness, which is last month. Easter last month, and then um, we're trying to prepare for the Puerto Rican festival. God willing, I'm in a healthier state. And then a lot of regular stuff in between. <clears throat> so it was a little bit more than usual, but that's just how it goes. So autism awareness gone, even though it's for us 24 seven, every day of the year is our life journey. But for people who want to support and honor autism awareness, um, there's a month designated for that, which was April. And then April Day is World Autism Awareness Day, which we traditionally do our March. Um, so, yeah. So for the people that don't live it as a journey, <clears throat> it's over with. But for us, like I said, it's 24-7 every day of our lives. So, but that's over as far as buying stuff for autism awareness. I think I got pretty much what I wanted this year. By the end of the year, I'm going to start preparing for next year because we're going to resume our March. And then, of course, Easter's over. So done with that. And now it's just pretty much buying regular stuff and focusing on the Puerto Rican festival. We also just did, bought a lot of stuff um, for my mother's grave. We went to see her the day before Mother's Day, which has, I like to go the day before because there's not tons of people. And I just can have that private time with her and we could just, we clean up her grave and we decorate it. We go full force and it's so nice. I got that video coming up. Um, so we did a lot of shopping for that as well. Um, but yeah, so pretty much now it's just regular stuff and stuff that's gearing. Hopefully we can make it to the Puerto Rican festival. And so this, what I got now is just regular stuff. I am, I got a ton of N95 masks, um, in my collection, um, three different ones, um, 
one that an ambulance company gave us when we were going through the fires. We live in Northern California. Ones that we got from um, the Biden administration when he gave it out to all the stores um, that had pharmacies in them. And then another one that I think, I believe I got from my insurance company or that we bought in the store. Um, so we got three different kinds, but we got a bunch of them, thank God. So if we need to go to N95s, which are the best protective ones, we got them. <clears throat> so, but I like to have, and then we have our own personal huge collections in our rooms. Everybody got their own collection of cloth face masks. And so, um, like I said, I got my favorite celebrities, my favorite Bible verses, different color patterns, supporting autism awareness, supporting breast cancer, um, just all kinds, blingy, shimmery ones, just all kinds. So we all got our own. My son has his characters like SpongeBob, Titanic, New York, and different characters. My daughter has her collection. But those are all um, cloth masks. But here in front of the door, I have a sign that says, home is where you hang your mask. Um, and so it's designated just for mask. And above it is one that's designated for key. Um, so I, there, um, there's like a little cubby, um, dresser that I have and it has a tabletop on top and it has all the N95s in a basket. It has the sanitizer bottles, the ones that I make, the ones that I buy, the spray ones, um, <clears throat> all that kind of, all sanitation gloves go there and stuff. And so right above it is that sign that says home is where you hang your mask and it has various hooks. And so that's where I buy a lot of disposable masks. That's where I keep our disposable masks because if somebody comes to the door suddenly, a neighbor or a friend or family member, or a lot of times it's UPS or the post office or FedEx, um, we're always like, where did I put my mask? I just got home, but where did I put my mask? Um, we just can, you know, pull one off the rack real quick, put it on and open the door. We don't have to go crazy. So I like to have that um, hanging thing stacked up with disposable masks. Of course, we also have um, disposable masks in all of our cars in the glove compartment. We also have sanitation bottles. Um, and then in our purses and in our backpacks, whatever we're using, we have extra there just in case the one we have breaks, we have an extra emergency one to go to. So I try to put a pack of at least 10 in each glove compartment in each car. So that's how we operate. I've done several videos on that, so you can go back and check that out. So we ran out of the disposable mask. Not the N95s, but the disposable mask. So I just ordered some more, and I ordered these. Um, this is the actual box. I think my husband is home. So this is the actual box. It came like this. Crazy, huh? All open like that. I don't know if in transporting um, it got smashed and then it popped open, but it came like this. But as long as my stuff is in there, that's all that matters. So um, I got two sets of 100 pieces of mask and 150. So I'm going to show you that. So let's start with this one. So, okay, like I just showed you, it came like this, popped open from both ends. And I'm thinking because this is a very thin box and if they put other packages on top, it was really easy for this to pop open. But the important thing to me is that everything is there and everything is in perfect condition and that it's exactly what I want it. So that's the important thing. So I'm going to check it out. But in the meantime, I want to show you it is a 100 piece set. Um, I got two sets of 100 pieces and I think I got one disposable mask set in 50 pieces. But this is 100 um, pieces. It's BFE. Um, they have soft ear loops, adjustable, adjustable nose piece. Um, it's a three ply ear loop type course disposable mask now all of it is black all of the masks are black like this but the colors are in the band that goes around your ears like this is a neon green and then a pink here and then there's more I'm going to show you the rest of those I counted these packs so there's 20 in a pack here so there's 20 with neon green um, strands 20 with pink and then I'm going to show you the other colors in here this is 20 um, I'm going to count it just to make sure in purple this is 20 of them in blue. And I think there's one more. Um, 20 of them in yellow. So we have 20 yellow. Like I said, they're all black, as you can see here. They're all black, um, which is what I wanted because that way everybody in the family won't have a problem using it. And it tends to match everybody's wardrobe the most and everybody's job uniforms. So I definitely wanted a lot of black ones, but I liked that it had the um, colorful um, bands that go around your ears. So um, this is 20 neon, 20 pink, 20 lavender, 20 blue, 
and 20 yellow, so that makes 100. So I'm gonna try one out and see how they feel and if I would buy them again, because they weren't a bad price. Um, I don't remember offhand um, how much this one was, if it was $9.99, because I bought one set for $9.99, one set for even $5.99, and then one a little bit more expensive, which I think are the N94s. So everything is here, and everything looks great. Um, so it doesn't matter that the box is ruined. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to check them out and let you know what I think. And what I like, too, is they're all individually wrapped. Even though a lot of these I'm going to put and fill up the whole rack, which I think is like a five hook, five to six hook rack. So I'm going to make sure that all the racks are full and whatever else is left, I'm going to leave in their individual packs, which is what I like. Because usually if all of this came in one package, that would be fine because you just take one at a time or as you need it. But the fact that they are individually packed is really, really nice. Um, so you can just take one with you until you're ready to use it and not feel like it's going to get dirty or anything like that. So we'll see how it works. Okay, so I have one on. I chose to um, try on the neon green um, airband. I love the way it fits. It fits so comfortable. And even though when you first feel the mask, it feels really skinny, like really thin layered, but it is a three layered. And once you put it on your face, then you could tell, okay, it is a three layered. Um, and it has the pincher here. So that will help um, not to not seep anything through as much as possible. And then if people that wear glasses, it will help not fog up your glasses as well. And I could still breathe. I could talk very normally. You know, some masks, when you're talking, it keeps going down and down and down. And you have to keep pulling it up, pulling it up. That just drives me insane. So I don't have to do that. You see me talking. Nothing is moving or coming down. It's so easy to breathe in these, even though you can clearly tell it is a three-ply. Um, I'm talking. It kind of sucks in a little bit, but it doesn't touch my lips. It's just from... Like I take a deep breath in and it still really doesn't touch my lips. It just kind of sinks in a little bit, but it's perfect. It's better than what I thought because I did buy some not too long ago that looked similar to this. It didn't have the color band, but, and it said three ply, but I could tell touching it and by putting it on me that sure it could have been three ply, but it just didn't feel like it protected much, but I did do the lighter test on it and it passed. So I do have a video where I do a lighter test on all of my masks, all of the cloth masks that we have in our collection, all of the disposable masks and even the N94. So check that out. Um, and you can see which ones made it and which ones didn't. And the ones that didn't, they were still usable because it's better any mask than no mask, trust me. Any scientist and doctor will tell you that it's better um, any mask, then no mask at all. You can always put like an extra layer, like two together, and that will give you that protection. Or you can put some have like pockets, like sliding pockets where you could put a filter in. And I have a lot of those. A lot of my cloth masks are those. They have a pocket where I can put a filter and the filter comes with it when I order it. So it all works out. But I really like this. I'm really impressed. I kind of was afraid it might be like those other ones that I ordered that you know, we end up using them because I didn't want to waste them, but I thought I definitely won't buy that one again. But this one, I'm very impressed. Way, way better. You know, and this feels really comfortable. It's not adjustable, so um, hopefully it will fit all people. I don't have a really small face. I don't have a huge face, but it's really comfortable. You can see I still have room here, but it's holding on real good. And so it's just perfect. It's just perfect. So I highly recommend this. I will be putting it down in the description bar so you know exactly the name, the price, exactly where I got it from, which was from Amazon. And I'm going to put the um, price down here somewhere um, if I haven't already done that because I think I was going to do it a little bit before I did this clip, part of the clip. But I'll put it again and I'll definitely put it in the description bar. It's definitely, definitely worth it. Highly recommend it. So let me show you the other ones that I got. Okay, so this is my other package, and it has other mask um, sets, and it also has three rows of pill and stick. You know, I was kind of concerned about the pill and stick because I was thinking it was like that old-fashioned back-in-the-day wallpaper that was so cheap-looking, and it could tear really easily, and it felt like paper, and I did not want that. I hate, hate wallpaper. Plus, it's so hard to put on, but I've been hearing raves about this pill and stick. I've seen a ton of YouTubers use it, using it on their countertops, their bathroom furniture, so I thought... Okay, well, my granddaughter, because that's what happened to this table. My granddaughter ruined this table. I just got it last year. And it was this color. And because um, I had got new furniture, 
she got a hold of markers, sanitizers, you name it, and she completely stained. And no matter how much we tried to get it off, it wouldn't come off. And I thought of buying a new table, and I thought, why would I buy a new table when I should give this pill and stick a try? So I ordered it. I ordered it to match the gray and to match my um, beige furniture, as you can see there. And so it's really nice. So my daughter right there. Hi. <laughs> she put it on. She's so good at this stuff. I use this to cut up the sides. She it did easier. it like perfection. It looks like this is the furniture. And it's it feels you can feel the quality and you can see it feels like furniture. It doesn't feel like wallpaper. So it made a believer out of me and then she ended up doing the rest of this. And I ended up oh, getting two more rows of this because I'm gonna do some more furniture like I'm going to do some of that, and then my desk is like that color, so I'm going to do the top of my desk so that everything can match, and she did the edges. So for my bedroom furniture, we have a lot of black furniture. My room is color scheme is black, so my dressets have a lot of scratches that I can't get rid of. So I thought if it worked for this, it's definitely going to work for my furniture, and the one that I picked looked really like natural wood, which is what I wanted, and then my son might need some, so I ordered three rows for the black furniture, and it's this right here. I don't know if you can see that good. I'll put a picture in one of these corners. But it looks really, really natural, so I can't wait for her to put this on. So I got three rows of that. I just want it more than enough because I don't want to be stuck. Like this one, I have bought one, and I wish I would have bought two the same at the same time because I'm like, man, if this looks good, let's just do the rest of the furniture. So I had to order two more later. So this time I was just going to order three right away, you know, at the same time. So I don't think this has a name of this color. I'll see. It was funny because I, like I went and bought number, con, huh? stick, uh, con stick. I went to buy, uh, buy um, this paper, mm -hmm. peel and stick, and it was funny because she's like, I need to look for a black one. That looks I like know, wood. And then I'm like, well, I wanted one that was black and wood. So we both pulled out Amazon and we both ordered the same exact thing by accident. And it was so funny how we were thinking exactly the same. So I can't wait because I'm going to have my daughter change my room around. I, of course, can't do it because of my health condition. But it's I usually change around like twice a year. But I was planning to keep it the way it was because I like it the way it was. But right now I'm feeling a change. It's not a whole drastic change, but something different. And so before we do that, we're going to um, prep all the furniture with this and see how it goes. And I just want to have extra in case anything else came up. I had enough. And so the rest of this is the two sets of uh, disposable masks. I got three different sets. They're not the same. This one is the other 100 and piece set right here. Disposable mask, of course non-medical i'll tell you right that now because these probably can't be used in the hospital even though they look just like the blue ones that are in the hospital but they just put on here non-medical um and it's 100 piece it's effective protection um wearing comfort and barrier dust so that's really really good so i'm going to take them out and show you and it has some pictures here of how it looks and how to put it on the right way and what you need to cover like you need to make sure you cover the nose and it most likely has the pinchers so it says um people with breathing difficulties are not allowed to use the mask so i guess if you have asthma per se um my daughter does have asthma so Stupid. maybe i'll have her test it since well, she no, would be the one that they say shouldn't use this, this this is the stuff that people try to build upon lies with saying I have a breathing condition that causes me to not use a mask. I'm like, okay, then nurses that have asthma can't use a mask, and then that's not healthy. I'm like, yeah, that's really weird. But I I have asthma, and I've had people tell me for me to go get COVID to get over it because this is like this is just a simple flu, and I'm like, no, it's not. If I die, I'm gonna go sue someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's anyway we, we're not buying this for medical use we're buying, um, we're buying this for safety. for our home use and for our safety it says this mask is not you not for medical use so i don't know if hospitals are just really strict on they want you to wear their mask and that's fine it's a single use only do not reuse the mask of course we don't at the end of the day when we're done using it we throw them away the only ones we reuse are our cloth masks which we wash at the end of the night and then when it's dry we put in our collections to wear again later. Um, do not wash. Of course, you don't want to wash these. You only want to wash cloth ones. When the respiratory resistance of the mask is obviously increased or becomes dirty or damaged, the mask should be replaced immediately, of course. Storage humidity, you should restore it at 80% non-aggressive gas room with good ventilation. All this is common sense, hopefully, um, but it definitely works for us. So I'm going to take them out of this package and show you what it looks like. So these come in two separate packages, and because it's a 100 set, I'm assuming there's 50 here 
at 50 here, but you know your girl's going to count just to make sure. Um, and I'm just going to open one just to see. I be I believe these bands are the face mask and the bands are all black, not like the other ones that, where the bands are colorful. So let's test them out. So, okay, these are how these look. All of it is black, the face mask and the band. Very comfort. You can see I still have stretch room. Um, it does have the pinchers, which is nice. Um, and I believe it's three-ply, even though I feel like the other ones are a little bit more um, of a better quality, even though these will work just fine. Um, it's not moving from my nose, and I guess that because of the pinchers helping that. Again, usually when you have pinchers, it, for those that wear glasses, it doesn't fog up your glasses, which is nice. I still can breathe and talk very nicely in this mask. Um, it's not moving when I'm talking, which that's another thing that I look for. But I, I like the feel of the other ones a little bit better, but um, I'm very happy with these as well. So this is a 100 piece, and I'm going to put it on the rack, fill it up, and then I'm going to show you the other package that I got. So this is the third and last set that I ordered. Um, these are the KF94 type. This is the first time I'm ordering the 94s. Um, like I said, I have a big collection of 95s, brand new in their packages. They're each individually wrapped. Um, we use those for really important times, really like emergency times, like if we got COVID and fire going on, you know, or something like that. Or COVID just went like into high gear. We're like, oop, nope. COVID and fire. <laughs> yeah. So I'll say those for like the bigger important moments. So this is a Korean version of the KF94 type protective max. Um, it says comfortable and breathable, four layer protection, which is nice because usually it's three layer, high efficiency filtration. This is the 50 piece that I was talking about. So filtration efficiency, 95%. So I'm going to open it up and see what they look like. Of course, it shows you the picture on how to use it the right way, your storage conditions, your precautions that you should take, um, and your application scope and limitations. So I'm going to read that later. I'm not going to bore you guys with it. So um, let me see what it looks like. So, okay, here is the third set that I bought third and last set until I find more that I like. I'm always looking for them because I don't ever want to run out like I did. I want to make sure that I always have extras on hand. So this is the third set. It's the 50 count one and it comes in five different colors, 10 colors of each. So 10 white, 10 black, 10, I want to call this a khaki color, 10 gray and 10 green. And one of the reasons why I got this set for one, I wanted to try the um, 94s. Two, because it had this forest green color in there, which matches my husband and my daughter's uniform. In fact, her whole shirt is this color, so this is going to really match her uniform shirt really well. And his um, has this color incorporated in his in the lettering in his uniform and that stuff. So I think they're going to be really happy and comfortable to wear this because it'll match. And then they'll start going towards the other colors. I think the least one that's going to be used is this white because it's just so plain. I think it's even worse than the hospital blue ones. But nevertheless, it's a good mask and it will be used um, if I have to do it myself. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to try something different. And it's hard to find this color by itself. I would have bought a set with just this color by itself, but it's hard to find. There's very few, like maybe two, and it's very expensive for just 50 count. So it's like maybe around $20, $25 for 50 count. So that's just crazy to me, but maybe I'll give in one of these days, just buy it so they can, it could be exclusively for them for their uniforms. So I'm gonna try white one to show you how it fits on the face. Okay, here's the 94 one. My daughter had to show me how to open it up. I was clueless. I'm like, what is going on? So I guess it lays flat. These flaps lay flat underneath here, so you have to lift them up. This one is the one on the top because it has the nose pincher, again, to give you more protection. And so those people that wear glasses won't get their glasses fogged. Hopefully I got to test it out. In fact, let me test it out with glasses and talk through it and see if I could get these glasses on me. So I'm talking through it, and I don't see it's not, yeah, it's kind of depends on how hard you breathe. See, it is fogging my mask up, but not as bad, but it does fog it up. So I probably have to have the pincher really well put, and probably the glasses lay on top of the mask. So see, that way it doesn't fog it up. But if you don't have this pinched just right, and your glasses all the way back and not just kind of laying on it, it will fog up your glasses. So we already did that test, but... 
it definitely, you can see it sinks in, but it doesn't touch my mouth or my lips, so I can talk with it very easily. It feels very comfortable. I can breathe in it really easily. These are comfortable. They're really lightweight. You can see I have room for stretchy. Again, none of these are adjustable. Usually, um, disposable masks are not adjustable. Usually, it's your cloth masks that are adjustable. So, none of the sets have adjustable, but they're really lightweight, but yet strong quality. I think the colorful ones are probably the strongest, but they all fit very comfortable and have stretch room. And yeah, I feel very protected in this one. Maybe I have to do the lighter test on this one, but I feel pretty protected, so highly recommend. I'm about to get my shingles vaccination and my tetanus. I think I'm seeing that right. So I'm gonna get them both today. I think they're probably gonna do one in one arm and one in the other, so we'll see. But this pharmacist, I love how he does vaccinations. He did my booster, so he did really great. So it's one seventeen sixty six. And you want one in both, one in each arm? One in each arm, yeah. That way I know if something happens, I know which one it was. All right, sounds good. <laughs> you want me to just face only you? Yeah, or both of us. I can't hold that up. Oh, whatever you can do, baby boy. I'm trying to roll my sleeve up and hold it here. It's That's okay. I, I, yeah, it's, it's, it's high up enough. Okay, but, good. Yeah. Look at me. My hair gets caught in this mask. Any preference which one goes into which arm? I don't know. What is better? Does it matter? Um, I, I, I've heard that Shingrix uh, stings more than the tetanus. Okay, so let's do, since I'm right dominant, I mean, I use, I'm ambidextrous, so I could use both, but let's go with the one that I use less. Okay. So Shingles over here. Shingles here. Tetanus okay. over here. All right. All right. He does such a good job. God, I look fat in this camera. Oh, God. See how smooth he is? So the shingles one cause some arm pain? A little it, bit it kind of like the, right away. Oh, okay. Like right when I put yeah. it in, it's thing. Yeah, I felt yeah. that. All right, now we got this side. So this is the tetanus one. How do you say it? Te tetanus. 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 I think I said tetanus earlier. <laughs> so I got my shingles. Get my tetanus. Tetanus. So how often do you get te tetanus? tetanus. Um, it's every 10 years. You okay. get a booster every 10 years. Okay. I can't remember the last time I had one. So I'm kind of recording back and forth. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I just do it because I encourage people by recording myself. I encourage them and show them that I did it. So uh -huh. I'm not lying or faking that I really did it. Okay. And it doesn't hurt. And I encourage people to do it. Sure. I'm all into preventative care. Yeah, so. yeah that's very good. And then the shingles, you have to get a second one in two months. In two months, yeah. okay. A little pinch here. So that's the te tetanus one yep. and the shingle one. So this one I have to come back in two months. Yeah. This one is every 10 years. Okay, sounds good. You're so good. Okay, my card, yeah. I think I got my, you gave me one for my booster. Was it this card? No, it's not. Oh, no, you signed my other one. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Okay, thank you so much. This is the best doctor. Come to Walmart. He will do you right. I love him. Thank you so much. Um, Carmen Torres, 117.66. <laughs> So I did the first shingles, the shingles dose on the 8th. I'm still okay, right? I'm you mean, past the week. August? No, March. I did the first shingle dose on March 8th. So 2022? Yeah, this year. No, you're not supposed to be doing one now then. He said two months. Come back two, in two. Well, sorry, March the 8th. Okay. So yeah, March 8th. April 8th, May 8th. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I'm past the week. I didn't know if that was okay or no, not. No, no, no. You're perfect because it's between okay. two months and six months. Oh, okay. Yeah, anywhere from two to six months. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah, in fact, I was like, I was even thinking you were a little bit early. Yeah, because he you said, know, you, you got to get the second you... dose in two months. I'm like, okay. And then I've been bedridden. So I'm like, oh my God, get my card, get my card. I think I might be late. <laughs> oh so no, I'm glad I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, you're perfect. Yeah. Okay, so left arm? Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. Since I'm already injured on the left, might as well oh, no. do everything on the left. Okay, so here's your card. I'm going to move this table out. Okay. okay. 
alcohol. Okay. And you know how shingles goes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't scream, Mama. Why are you screaming? You scare me. Are you going to do the test? No. Oh, this test. That's what you're talking about. Okay, I'm really curious. When you lift your arm up, right? Mm -hmm. Does it make it hurt less? Like I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I just had my arm on here. I as think a... how the muscles contract or not mm -hmm. might affect how painful or less painful it gets. Like oh, okay. I, I'm not sure which way is better. That, I know that generally mm. speaking, we go down. Yeah, last time I think I had it kind of yeah. over on here on my leg. Uh -huh. But and just because I've been with the walker, I kind of okay, been so putting my hand like that. Oh. Huh? So. Yeah, yeah it, I could feel it going in last time, Yeah. but it was really good. I mean, you guys are so good at giving vaccinations. You guys are so smooth and easy breezy. I'm so comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. No, you can get a shot. Are they just doing 50 and up? Is that still the requirement for the they, second they're booster? They're doing for younger, but if you have um, like medical certain medical conditions, then you qualify. Oh, okay. Them. And of course, those that are immune compromised as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, Mia. <laughs> you just have to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> Do I need to put my arm down? It's your choice because I've always oh. worn that in my mind, which that would is... maybe make it less hurtful. But I don't know. I don't have any scientific backing. Okay. One way or the other. <laughs> I'll just so keep it like this. Like yeah. Well, at least it's supported, if nothing. Yeah. Else. That. That's what I was thinking. Oh, this way is more supported. Yeah. But if it hurts, I'm sorry. Okay. All right. All done.